I'm backstage, but like everyone's getting ready in the collecting room before we're going to do the group, and there's quite a, there's like 41 chairs around here, and that's my mum in the background saying good luck. Um, it's quite calm actually, a lot calmer than I thought it would be, and it's it's, it's really nice. It's nice and relaxing for the dogs, and just chilled, which is lovely. Just try and keep the dog very calm, give him a drink, give him a good brush through, and then uh, you hope he performs on the day. I'm feeling, admittedly, I'm feeling all right. I think the nurse will hit me before I go out of the tunnel, which, which is slightly better than last time. I've got to admit, I'm a lot better than last time. Yes, well, I was so nervous, I just couldn't handle him myself. And my friend's handled him before and loves him. So I said that she could do it because she, she managed to handle him when he won his first CC. So I thought she might as well do it in the group. So you join us now for the final group of Crufts 2014, the Gun Dog Group. The, the Irish Red and White Setter coming in now. And and the little and Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever now. The English Springer Spaniel, a little bit of a gallop there. 87 Irish Red and White Setters here today, and this is the winner. I love the description of the colouring in these breeds, that the red is on a pearl white background. And doesn't that just look a picture? And yes. such a gentle expression on that red and white. And we see the slashing tail action again, which just shows it a degree of thoroughbred quality in the setters. The Nova Scotia duck touring retriever, of course, famous for attracting the ducks by wagging that tail, running up and down the shoreline and making a clown of itself. Such delightful characters, these dogs. And my daughter's PE teacher has got one of these at home. She'll be absolutely thrilled to bits to see it on the television. Always entertains the kids at school. This is Stephen Jane Eyington's Chaos English Springer Spaniel. So much work in the head with those lovely, very characteristic ears framing their face. Perhaps a little spooked, just settling into a movement yes, there. Just a bit of a road here. They're the highest on the leg of all the land spaniels. They should stride out well. There's a distinctive forward thrust of the front leg, characteristic for the breed. To be honest with you, the Tollers only got CCs last year, um, which is the certification. Um, so my expectations aren't very high, but it's just so nice for him to get win best of breed, to be able to go in the big ring. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Um, but it, don't get me wrong, it would be absolutely amazing if he even got placed in the group. <laughs> but I, don't, I won't expect anything high. As long as he does well and does everything, I'll be really happy as long as he goes well. So. Go and buy a big chocolate cake. <laughs> if he doesn't make cake tonight, what do you think we do? Go and buy a big chocolate cake. <laughs> I'll have a big glass of wine as well. No, whether he wins or loses, he's done exceptionally well today. I'm delighted with him. I'm sure. Purposeful stride over. Just make a short list for the group. So she's pulling out the German longhead pointer and the Lizla, the Irish setter, then coming forward, the flat-coated retriever and the golden retriever, which went very well indeed, and the Labrador. Oh, so he's through again. Franco from Italy. The American cock is out as well. And the previous winner of the group, it's the Irish water spaniel. Really, really well. I'm really pleased with him. It's just a shame. It's always the sort of not the same ones get picked all the time, but you know your regular breeds. It's, just, it's because the Tollers are still such a new and rare breed. So, but now I'm really pleased with how he went. I was a bit more nervous going in, <laughs> um, but once I'm going across that ring, it was absolutely just the, the adrenaline hits you, and it's so it's just so amazing. And fingers crossed, hopefully I'll have a, another time in the big ring with him. So fingers crossed for next year. He didn't perform his best today. I think he was a bit tired, and uh, but like I say, love showing him in the big rings. That was really nice. There's always another day. Um, the future for me, and Kenzie. Hopefully, we'll be back at Cross next year, um, and we'll be showing throughout the year. And uh, hopefully, we will get the group, and hopefully, a best in show at Cross. Very good. <laughs> Boards are out. We're ready to find out who's going to win the Gun Dog Group for 2014. This is the hard moment. Which four from these eight, which you obviously liked very much? Flacco working that tail.